Aloha everyone! It is 2020 and here's the updated list of GMOs. This is from the organichawaii.org website, so you can check that out. Number one, corn. Over 33 genetically engineered varieties are out there. Number two, soybeans. Lots of varieties too, at least 20 approved GMO varieties. Number three, rapeseed and canola oil. Rapeseed canola oil or canola plants that you get the oil from. Number four, potato. So when you're eating at restaurants, how do you know it's not a GMO potato? Well, there's at least nine approved varieties in the United States. Number five, papaya. Papaya, very popular tropical fruit. Very uh, healthy too, but there are GMO papayas. Most of them are grown on the big island. And actually, they're grown, a lot of them, to be exported to Japan where they're labeled. But in, in the United States, they're not labeled. Number six, zucchini and squash. Number seven, beets, especially the sugar beet. A lot of the sugar that you see in the ingredient labels of processed food actually comes from sh GMO sugar beets. So unless you're getting organic or non-GMO, it's very likely that it's going to be GMO sugar beet. Number eight, alfalfa. This is mostly used for uh, to feed animals and livestock, but if you like sprouts, make sure you get organic kind. Number nine, flax. Another healthy food, flax oil is uh, very popular in health circles, but there is a GMO flax out there, and uh, a lot of it is used for animal food. But make sure when you get your flax oil, it's uh, organic or non-GMO. Number 10, apple. In 2015, FDA approved the Arctic apple. It doesn't brown. That's a GMO apple. Number 11, plum. Number 12, salmon. Farm-raised salmon. Wild salmon, of course, is not genetically modified, but at the end of 2015, FDA approved the uh, genetically modified salmon known as Frankenfish. It's not the actual name of it, but that's what people in health food circles call it because it's a mixture of sea eel and wild salmon. It makes it grow like double the size of regular wild salmon. So that's kind of scary. Number 13, cloned meat. Have you thought about cloned meat? In 2008, FDA approved cloned meat and derivatives for human consumption. So, mmm, cloned meat sounds delicious, right? Not. Number 14, yeast, enzymes, and hormones. So these are usually food additives, also used in uh, supplements. One case that's that was really like a infamous case is when uh, in Japan they were manufacturing genetically modified tryptophan which is a amino acid a popular supplement and from that genetically modified tryptophan um, people actually died in 1989 so this goes back decades number 15 pineapple GMO pineapple is pink on the inside uh, they made it so it produces more vitamin A so if you see pink or orangish pineapple on the inside it and it's not organic or non-GMO very likely it's a GMO pineapple courtesy of Del Monte number 16 rice the latest edition is known as GMO golden rice They've been working on it for a while. Uh, Rockefeller back in the 80s started work on, working on it. And they were doing trials in 2013. Eco-activists actually uprooted GMO golden rice in an experimental plot because 
they didn't like the GMO rice, but now it's approved for human and animal consumption in the United States as of 2018. Uh, not for crop cultivation, that means that GMO rice is grown in other countries and then brought to United States, as well as Australia, Canada, and New Zealand. Number 17, sugarcane. This is another one of the recent approvals as of 2018 uh, approved in the United States for consumption as well as in Canada and Brazil. And this actually was created uh, in Brazil in the Centro de Tecnologia Canaviera, which is the biggest sugarcane research center in the world. So in the US it's not approved for cultivation but it is approved for human consumption so when you look at sugarcane ingredients make sure you're getting products that are non-gmo or organic if you want to avoid the possibility of gmos here are some additional gmo considerations some of them are food some of them are not cotton so that includes clothing made out of cotton towels made out of cotton bedding Anything, even cotton balls or Q-tips if you're going to put something in your ear. Even things like uh, tampons and stuff like that. So it might be smart to avoid GMO cotton and get organic cotton or non-GMO cotton. But organic is better because, you know, it's, it cannot be sprayed by synthetic toxic chemicals. But the thing about the GMO cotton uh, and having it touch your body is that those chemicals including glyphosate uh, would be touching your body especially those sensitive body parts and you know skin it's a membrane so anything that touches it especially if it's um, you know some kind of chemical or oil based or water based it can go it can go inside of your bloodstream quite quickly number two tobacco again this is not a food but obviously this is what people smoke in cigarettes so they've had GMO tobacco uh, for a while now and that means it's most likely sprayed with pesticides herbicides, fungicides and people are inhaling those pesticides herbicides fungicides number three this is very controversial uh, number three is humans, genetically modified humans. England became the first country to legalize three parent human babies. Okay, three parents, supposed to be two, right? So how come it's three? In 2017, they crossed a human pig. I mean, they crossed a pig with a human at the Salk Institute for Biological Studies in La Jolla, California. It, it was mostly a pig, but had human genes. Um, you know, you can look at the pictures online. It's pretty gross looking and it's quite controversial. Also, GMO babies were secretly and recently illegally created in China in 2018-2019. They were gen genetically modified using CRISPR technology to supposedly withstand HIV. The scientist involved was sentenced to three years in prison on December 30th, 2019 for this. Number four, grass. Again, this is not a food, but this is what you're likely to see if you like playing golf. Or even if, you know, going to a public park, they could be using this uh, GMO creeping bent grass. That's the type of grass that they use in uh, golf courses. It's uh, created to withstand uh, toxic uh, herbicides, trees and flowers, such as gen genetically modified roses. Uh, trees such as genetically modified eucalyptus or, or poplar. Tomato. Actually, this is a food, and there are 11 approved genetically modified varieties of tomato in the United States, but supposedly they're not commercially available. First GMO tomato was approved back in 1992, so it was one of the early GMO approvals out there. Supposedly, commercial production stopped in 1997. Wheat. This is another controversial one. This is obviously a food. Uh, glyphosate, which is a toxic chemical that causes cancer. Uh, Glyphosate-resistant GMO wheat was created by Monsanto, which is now Bayer. It was approved in 2004 for human consumption, but not cultivation. Uh, 
Could it be coming from other countries now? So even though it's not approved in the US for cultivation for food as a crop, it didn't stop it from growing in Washington state. In 2016, the USDA confirmed that an unapproved strain of Monsanto's GMO wheat was growing in Washington state. This caused a panic in a global wheat trade in 2016. Shikari and Radicchio. So this one also dates back to the 90s. And the patent belongs to Beho, and this is obviously a, a food. Uh, but it seems like, even though it was approved and stuff like that, it seems like it's not, um, hopefully it's not on the market. Okay, the company behind it actually switched to non-GMO and organic farming methods. Melanin cantaloupe, application for growing GMO cantaloupe in the U.S. was withdrawn in 04, yet it remains approved for consumption by FDA. So could it be coming from... Uh, countries like Mexico, for example, where you have cheap labor and uh, not so much oversight. Bananas. So this one is not yet approved for human consumption or cultivation, but they are and have been experimenting with genetically modified bananas in a number of countries, including Africa and Hawaii. Mosquitoes. Obviously, this is not a food but this is a controversial genetically modified animal um, it was created by Oxitec Corporation of England approved by the FDA uh, in 2016 to be released in Florida so watch out for those mosquitoes uh, biting you or your loved ones they can be identified by green glowing eyes just wow number 12 Stevia over here. So stevia is a popular sugar substitute and it comes from a plant by the same name, stevia. The plant itself is not genetically modified, however chemical compounds that mimic stevia's sweet taste are synthesized from genetically modified yeast by Cargill. They call it ever sweet and best way to avoid it is by buying organic or non-GMO verified stevia containing products okay so this is uh, a sugar substitute that they're using genetically modified compounds to mimic stevia's sweet taste so how to avoid all of these well best way to avoid all of these GMOs is to buy organic because in organic you cannot have any GMOs and you cannot have any synthetically uh, toxic herbicides, pesticides, basically chemicals that they grow regular food with, uh, regular meaning conventional. Uh, and, and, you know, buying non-GMO is also one way to avoid the GMOs, but the problem with when you buy non-GMO food is that it's very likely that it is sprayed with toxic chemicals when they grow it. So if you're trying to avoid toxic chemicals that have been linked to a variety of really bad conditions like chronic conditions like cancer and autoimmune disease, etc., destruction of uh, gut flora, etc., if you want to avoid those chemicals, it's best just to buy organic and you know you can even grow your own if you have time for that but obviously most people uh, cannot so uh, you can check out the article by going to organichawaii.org and uh, leave a comment let me know what you think about this list if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments section and have a happy and safe GMO free new year aloha